Hello, 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 what is up, you damn jerks? Odd one, good to see you, Geo. How you doing? Nod, 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 in here too. Dr. King Boss, hello, life is yours. So coming in with all those box. MS Gamer, happy Wednesday to you too. Rock Day Studios, hello, hello, hello. Solothinator, how are you doing? Montauk with the party hat, love it. Brandy, reminder, trading cards. I totally forgot about trading cards. What's up, GT Chris? What's up, Super CBS? No, you are the jerk. Totally forgot about trading cards. Thank you for reminding me, Bram. I was not going to work on that today at all. Uh, where's my marker? Write it down on my desk. We're not going to work on it first, but we will definitely work on it in theory. Trading cards. We got to make three trading cards for Steam trading cards to be a thing. Uh, first of all, check out this sweet shirt that I just got in the mail. It just came out on my doorstep. I got a little, it's a cute long sleeve cozy shirt for the winter from Discord. It's very nice of them to send out some uh, long sleeve winter presents. What a surprise that I forgot. Thanks for reminding me. Where's your warm up pixel art? Uh, I, it's it's right here. It's it's right it's right it's right in my pocket. Oh, I think there's a hole in my pocket and I dropped it and it fell into the fire. I just got my butt handed to me by bots and shotgun farmers and bot team didn't help me. I wish there was more players online to play with. Ah, oh, I'm sorry, Geo. That sucks. Hello, odd one. How are you? Exclamation flash. The bots lost. But when we was my computer wiped, made me lose all those commands. Slothinator coming in. 22 freaking months, meep meep to you too. Uh, so I have something really cool to show you guys. Something, uh, something I've been wanting to do for I gotta say how long? Probably since the sixth month of development. I think people started joking about it very early on. I'm talking, I'm talking like two years ago. We started making jokes about having this in the game. Not jokes, but more like, I wish this was in the game, but it was always something that was like, not yet, not yet, maybe never, probably never, definitely never, until now. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Hook shots! <laughs> no, not that. Anything but that. I th someday it would be really cool to add grappling hooks to the game. I think it would didn't really, really change the verticality of the level, but... Kill cam, no, not kill cam either. Something a lot easier than that. Serious, how's it going, dude? Any isopod, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Convention Tycoon, God damn it, Bram. God damn it. Uh, loot crates, no, not quite. So, I'm gonna walk on over here. I'm going to head on over to these bots. And I'm going to kill this guy and be like, oh, what, son? Taunt. 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 Oh, this is the harmonica taunt. It's not the one I wanted to show. Hold on. i got to wait for it to finish. I think it's going to be a random one. This is the one I want to show. I made taunts. Kill the brother. Why it's so long? So this one is a particularly long one because it's the song that it's the intro song that Julian made. I'm gonna probably have them toned down to be smaller ones. So other taunts will be a lot shorter. So they'll be uh, I don't right, sure we probably come up with some taunts together on stream on things we can do. Those will be a lot shorter. Um, but the song one is a little bit long because it's actually just the theme song for the main menu. So now check this out. I go over here to my friends. And I hit this button. Why is your gun showing? You fool. Oh, your gun's showing too. That's fine. Everything is fine. We'll actually play the song together. Oh, there's a desktop song coming through? Damn it. Spoiled it. Spoiled it. So let's see why their gun is in their hands. He's just hungry. He's just having some corn for dinner. You know, nothing, nothing to see here. That's, that should be an easy fix. I think I might have deleted that line of code. So supposedly when you taunt, it just hides your weapon. At least it's supposed to. So here on hide current weapon. Why would that not work? Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. Wait, but it hit my weapon though, right? It looks beautiful. Thanks, Sirius. Banjo harmonica and a washed up bass. What's a washed up, a washed up bass? What is that? What? That's really a thing? It's someone using like a big wash tub to make music? Oh, I pressed the pause button inside the play button. So I started working on that yesterday for fun. I've been wanting to add to the game for a long time. So now the system for taunting is in there. And basically as long as I make a taunt animation and the music goes with it, it's pretty easy to add them to the game. What I don't have yet is the actual menu for selecting that taunt. Uh, that's going to take a little bit of work. So right now it just picks a random taunt, I believe. Ooh, a fiddle would be cool. Yeah, so the main menu song is currently made up of uh, a few instruments. It's banjo, cowbell, harmonica, mandolin, and upright bass. Uh, I don't know how many of those I'm actually going to add, but I want to do harmonica and banjo for sure. I might do cowbell because it's really easy. It's just like a tink, 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 tink. Yeah, we'll have to code a wheel selection thingy, which uh, I've never done anything like that before, so that should be pretty fun. to go with their homemade banjos and fiddles and, and uh, so it's just a marvelous instrument you get about a one and a half uh, uh, octave in a song lift the tub up what that's so crazy and you simply tighten it to go higher and, and I wonder if we can do that so we do have the, the upright bass I run by oh my gosh we totally could so this is the bass version of the bass part of the song. What if we just made that a washed up bass? I don't know what Julian actually made this on. I'm assuming it's just called an upright bass. Upright bass. Yes, yeah, so he made it on one of these, which is more real and cool, but a washed up would be so much more fun. I like that idea a lot. Boom, another instrument to add to the taunt list. We are farmers after all. Yeah, it fits so much better into the world. Um, let's see, if when I taunt... Yeah, my weapon doesn't show. For some reason when they do it... Oh, maybe because, no. Hide current weapon hides all of your weapons, even third person ones. So something must be overriding this. Oh, maybe it's the order of operations here. Try that. Oh, my eyes are hurting. I'm dying. I'm almost dead. But I really like the idea of doing a wash tub base. Look at this picture of it. Can you imagine our farmers playing this? And it'll be, it'll, this will be way easier to make in 3D than an actual regular bass instrument. There's just a cylinder and I think it's resting on top of a log. I'm not sure. We can actually have them put their foot on top of it. Oh, it's going to be so cool. You know, so you just go ding, 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 ding. Focus an object for 20 seconds. You're right. Thanks, life. Looking out the window for 20 seconds. I highly recommend it if you're working on a computer too, to look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Good for your eyes.
Nope. Still showing their guns. Something is overriding it. Something is overriding it. Something called force show weapon, which is called when you have a chicken and it gets called in late update. Okay. Player dot taunting return. I actually need to change out of the shirt because it smells really bad like a brand new. That's a lot better. What's up, Sanchai? How's it going? Yeah, I don't, I don't like the smell of a brand new clothes. I wanted to wear it today because I didn't want to forget that I have it, but that smell is driving me nuts. I want to be in a perfect state of mind for work. excited about this wash tub base idea this is this is why i love streaming because i never would have thought of that on my own i would have just been working on the actual instruments and putting them into the game and uh it's the feedback from you guys stuff like ideas like that that make the game i think so much cooler you might notice the players are actually only holding gray versions of the instruments and that's because i don't uh want to make the instruments because it seems like a lot of work but i will have to i will eventually The trash can lid for a chest shield? Where did you see that? What's wrong button? There we go. Look at him go! So the other thing I've been working on this morning is so the goal with this whole musical taunt idea now there'll be other taunts that aren't musical but for the ones that are musical the goal is that you can actually oh i think i realized what i didn't do uh but the idea is that if someone turn my music off it's distracting so let's say these guys start taunting oops wrong one these guys start taunting and they're halfway through the song if i join in I want it to actually be so it syncs up with them in the song. So right now if I join in, my song starts at a wrong time. I want to make sure that it actually detects if someone's playing a song near you and then you join in at the same time of that song. How am I doing, Sanchai? I'm doing brilliant. How are you? Wait, I asked that already. I'm not sure. Uh, no, that's not a, just, not a chest shield geo. That's the banjo. This is the actual banjo on the player. That's the banjo, there's the harmonica. Everything is attached to the player. This is where your pistol goes. These are where your grenade goes go. This is your juggernaut helmet. This is the milk jugs on the side of your head when you're a juggernaut. Uh, and then I think that's all the main stuff you can see. All the guns get spawned in dynamically. Everything's actually always there. What we can do actually is we can create another taunt with the upright base. I also have this thing so you can actually close your eyes. So notice when they play the harmonica, their eyes will be closed. Let's call this one uh, main theme harmonica. 
main theme banjo. I'm gonna put these into group one. Main theme bass. Yeah, I think she, trash can lives would be a pretty funny shield. Playmon has a pretty horrible neck posture. He's just an old man. He's an old man. He's got neck problems. But for now, we'll just make it play the banjo uh, animation, and we'll change this to the bass. Uh, special instrument, we'll make it the banjo. And leave your eyes open, probably. What does the bass one sound like? It sounds like this. I'm getting some error when I try to change the sound. Uh, the seek position, so I have to look into what's going on. Do, 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 do. So let's see if somebody plays the bass. Oh. There we go, he's doing it. So that will actually we'll make a separate animation for that later. Um, or in a little bit. But let's try to figure out why our timing isn't working. This is fantastic, thanks, Anche. I've wanted to do this for so long. And yesterday I was thinking like, it's so Oceanside, which is, I, I'll show you guys what I did on Oceanside too. We made a lot of progress on Oceanside. But Oceanside's not coming out till February. And I still want to release an update in at the end of January. And I was like, well, what else am I going to put in this update besides the bug fixes and stuff that I've done so far? And I was like, taunts. It's time for taunts. Uh, let me actually get some of the changes to the ocean side or improvements. Um, I think the beach is basically the same from the play test. If you were here on Monday stream, we did a live play test of the ocean side, which went really, really well. It was super awesome to see. Uh, I put rocks underneath these gaps here so that it doesn't look like you can actually walk through them as much. Uh, I also put a boundary so you can't walk through them at all. Rock. Um, and in addition to that, I put these like air conditioner units on the side of the restaurant. I don't know if the wine glasses were there on the test, but they're there now. Can you play the bass left handed like Paul McCartney? Talk about scope creep. Made this like chalkboard sign outside the restaurant where maybe we'll write something cute. If anybody has any fun ideas on like fishy farmy puns we can put on this chalkboard, feel free to shout out in chat. Maybe we could put that in there. I moved the uh, narwhal sign to the roof of this building. I made new ladders, so Oceanside will actually have custom ladders. It was always my goal that every map would have its own type of ladder, um, and so Oceanside finally has its own like wooden ladder for all the ladders. I made the little reception area. So this is the entrance to the resort here, where the chicken is, and so this is like the little um, reception desk. They'll have probably other reception-y stuff. I made these little velvet ropey thingies. I made these uh, beach tables, which beach chairs. So this really helped kind of fill out this really empty area in the middle of the resort. We made this taller on Monday. I made the uh, bar chairs for the tiki bar. The tiki bar is still placeholder. I made the chairs that go around the tiki bar. Uh, in terms of the house here, so I made the doors for the different buildings. This door is not connected. Made the doors. I uh, put up these picture frames from countryside. Made these floor lamps. Go up here, upstairs. There's a bed now um, with the same floor lamp and a TV. So I decided to go for an old CRT TV because it's supposed to take place back in the days i actually don't know what type of tvs there was in the 60s okay so we have to actually redo it i didn't think about this at all so shocker harvest is supposed to take place in the 60s i think that's what i like to say uh, when was the moon landing 1969 yeah so it's meant to take place in the 60s so i have to actually remake the tv to look like this so i'm actually going to save this um which one do i like i think um I like to just save both of them so I have a reference for all of it. 
Yeah, the one with the le legs actually is really is pre preferable. We could put that in the bedrooms and countryside too. I mean, in the living room and countryside. There are a note for that. Um, remake TV to be 60s style. Because if you turn on the TV, you see the moon landing. Oh, that would be awesome, but so much work. Slithering scope creep. I made this TV shelf as well. Um, I think the binoculars are already there. I adjusted some line of sight stuff. Do, 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 do. I made, I replaced these outer buildings. Do, 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 do. Oh, then, you know, we made the volcano like a silo, of course. I think we did it on stream. And yeah, I guess I most of the changes to Oceanside. Codfellows restaurant frying me. <laughs> That's pretty great. I gotta write that one down. I don't think that would be a copyright problem, right? It's a pun, or it's a it's a parody. I have just Green Acres logo on the TV screen. Oh, like different farm thingies. So turn on TV to get images, maybe. Brian Remo. Uh, okay, that's all the countries. Let's go back to the taunts. Oh, let me make, let me write my to-do list down so we don't lose track. Um, taunt music sync, and then Steam trading cards. We're gonna work on. So I'm gonna make sure I stop working on the taunt enough times to work on the Steam trading card. Brian Nemo. Ooh, that's pretty good. Ah, uh, you guys are the worst. All right, uh, do, 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 do. Look at all these crazy amount of spawn points. Jeez. What is this? Is it just here? Is this there for fun? So what I see right now is my taunt offset is zero. So we're going to look at the code. Basically, what I do is I try to find the offset. Where I iterate over all the players. And if any of those players are taunting, I try to see if their current taunt is in, within my taunt group. So if it matches one of the taunts, each taunt is assigned a taunt group. I have to actually sort these and find the earliest player because you want to be synchronizing with the player who started that same taunt the earliest. Um, I guess we'll say here float earliest taunt. So earliest taunt. Well, we ignore it if it's too far from us. The earliest taunt equals, or sorry, if if that current taunt time is greater than earliest taunt, then continue. You want to say earliest taunt equals math f dot infinity. Then we say earliest taunt equals this. So we find the first person who's taunted within this group. Our earliest taunt should be a double. Well, you like mine's offset equals starting point. Oh, is that where I'm doing it wrong? Oh yeah, that is what I'm doing. I think I'm passing the time in wrong. Um, so this should be, yeah, this should be the, I need to know the actual taunt time. So this should be this time, animation time. Oh, with audio clip time is different. I guess it would just be audio time. Minus time offset.
And I'm also actually time elapsed. Yeah, so time elapsed is, oh, I'm doing this wrong. It's gonna be a negative value. Should be time dot time minus the time that it started. I was doing time that it started minus time dot time. Now we know how much time has passed since they started taunting. And then we can just start our audio time from there, I believe. Are the restaurant called Codfather? <laughs> okay, restaurant, Codfather restaurant name. I like it. I had an attempt to make a spear object when a player starts a taunt. This game object would keep the timing in which taunt is being played. If other players are within that game object's collider. Mm -hmm. Then it picks. Oh, interesting. So yeah, I'm I'm doing exactly what you're saying here in this class. I keep a reference to the taunt, your last taunt, and I compare it. But I'm actually the players can choose their instrument. I would you, know, you pick your taunt. Right now it picks randomly just for my own testing, but players can actually just pick which taunt they want to do. So they're gonna be in control of which instrument they play, but that way they can play the same instrument and still line up. But yeah, I'm trying to do exactly what you're saying, live for sure. So check within the distance that they're actually playing in the same same song and then find what time that offset to. Prawn brokers? My time offset's always returning zero, which is, something's going wrong. Oh, probably because I did this wrong. I think now it will be correct. Uh, hey, compile. So you know what I was doing yesterday because compile time was taking so long? It takes 30 seconds to compile Shotgun Farmer. So while I was compiling it, I would just switch back to 3D and I would make an asset for Oceanside. I feel like the harmonica isn't um, super animated right now. The sound off. He's not super like, I feel like he's not super into it. Whereas like the banjo guy is like, burr, 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 burr. Which actually, if you guys want to see, I actually recorded a video to make that animation. So something, a really common thing to do is record video footage as reference for when you want to animate something in 3D to kind of see like where the body motions and physics are. Talk to me unlockable or are they all going to be there? That's a really good question, odd one. I have no idea. I did not think about that. What do you think? The hands should shake when the harmonica does tremolo. What the hell is a tremolo? I do think you're correct about the hands shaking. I don't know which part that is though. Titanic, oh, that's great, Gio. We only have one restaurant, but these are all great names. Probably, well, it's Hawaiian restaurant, so it's gonna be Titanic, but we can have an advertisement for the Titanic restaurant somewhere else in the game. We also want to know shakes. Okay, so like, it should be like, So I, the interesting thing about the animation is that it won't actually always time to the music. So the animations aren't one-to-one. -one. Uh, I'm not gonna, like, so songs are like multiple seconds long. So I'm not animating the entire thing to the song. I'm just trying to animate like a general animation that fits the most of the song. That's the tremolo. Like that part. Unlockable for 9.99. The music taunt should be there, but all others unlockable. I like that, that's a good idea, yeah. So yeah, what are some ideas you guys have for other taunts we could do? Um, there's obviously dancing ones. Dances are actually some of the hardest things to animate. So I don't know if we'll have any dance. It might at least have like a square dancing one. That was always a dream. The reason I want to toss them was actually because you could square dance. Um, but I don't know about what else, what other kind of taunts I could do. Thumbs up, thumbs down, seems kind of dumb. Waving, dabbing. Yeah, the head should bit move a bit too. That's a good point some of these notes down so harmonica animation shake hand more move head more point in a direction a digging taunt what's that you want some of the loadout ones but off stream <laughs> look at loadout taunts yeah they did have some really crazy ones in there so pointing in a direction. 
Is digging like just like digging with the shovel? High five, yeah. He touches his hand, tosses it in the air. God damn it, life. It started off as a great idea and then turned into the hardest idea ever. I like the idea of a high five. We'll leave it up to players to orient themselves. Yeah, I think just like just digging with the shovel is a great way to taunt someone who just died or something, like you're burying their body. We already have the shovel as a prop, so we don't have to like make a new one. I'll be at a system to actually show certain weapons, which will be interesting. Uh, Ooh, a mic drop. What about like you just drop your shovel? You would need physics though, unless it's animated somehow. Hmm. Taunt should, yeah, that is an excellent point. I didn't mean for that to be the case, but I don't actually know if that's gonna actually be the case now. And I actually didn't code it in, so I don't know what's gonna happen. Let's see. Hey, it works. Only for that guy, though. Um. So should be able to taunt in end screen. Yeah, the mic drop one's really tough because weapons don't actually have physics on them. They won't actually drop to the ground. Hmm. Maybe easier to just make an actual microphone that you drop. Or a chicken egg. Ooh, what about like the chicken dance? Like the like pretend to be a chicken? Although they don't have elbows, so that won't work. It'll just look like their hands are on their hips. Because the farmers don't have elbows. Look at this guy. He's eternally damned to play the harmonica forever. What am I testing? Oh yeah, sticking up the songs. Hey, it worked! We did it! Now my animation doesn't actually end, I'm still stuck in the taunt. So I just need that to offset with the time as well. I want you for the farmer's market war? What's that? What would that be? Let's add more bots so we can see a bigger band. Where are they actually spawning? I don't understand. There's so many spawn points, I guess. These have no use. Bring both teams into the middle. We need to offset our animation time here. So uh, this timer should minus time offset. I also want to set like a max value. So like if say someone started playing a song and they are only have like three seconds left in the song, then I don't want to sync up with them because then it's kind of dumb if I have like a three second taunt or like a two second taunt and it's over. Um, so I have to incorporate the max value as well. Okay, so it's uh, kind of like a thumbs up and a point. I'll include that link in my description. Is that like a meme or something? Where are there? Oh, here we go. What's up, Jordan kid? Are we all together? All right, band, let's play. Sweet. So my harmonica joined in at the same time as their banjos.
You already have an Uncle Sam poster in the game? I don't think so, no. Oh, it's an Uncle Sam thing, I see. You should be able to look in first person as you point, which makes it usable elsewhere than the top only. Yeah, that's a tough one because the content system doesn't currently support first person emo emo uh emotions or emoticons or whatever yet. Um I don't think it's gonna be super hard to do it, but something has to figure out because the animations in third person are slightly different from the first person ones. But it should be doable, I think, if I like instantly hide your weapon, play the animation, just don't go into the third person. I think it should be doable. Jordan Kid coming in with that sub. I really like really all the new the stuff game. in the game. Thanks, dude. I'm super excited. I'm super excited too because we have what 25 days? Days until February 21st. 29 days. Finish. And have it perfect with no bugs and all the features. We got this. I mean, really, a lot, of, a lot of the stuff I want to add for launch is there. The water LMG is done. Concussion grenades are, like, halfway done. Uh, Laser is working on concept art for them, so we know what they're going to look like. And then Thanos will hopefully do some sweet art for it. Um, and content-wise, really, Oceanside's the next big thing. And then just adding all these little polishy stuff that I want in the launched version. If anyone hasn't seen the gun that's coming out on launch day... It's this guy, the Watermelon G. Pretty sweet. Did I not miss any shots? Oh, I guess I didn't miss any shots on the seed intervals. Let's sing, guys! Yeah, invite friends button to where we can invite our Steam friends to the lobby geo. Yeah, I want to. We tried to do it once before and we ran into some problems basically with Steam launching the game. I'm trying to remember exactly where we got stuck. Um, if Slot's here, he might remember. But we ran into a problem with Steam actually opening the game and then putting you into that room. It's definitely something I want to um, add to the game as well. Boop, boop. I should commit. There's a lot of stuff. Okay, so music based taunts. Not very descriptive. Commit. So bad. Uh, I should push too. We have that. We did throw in the base thing, so I think I'll make a. Uh, a quick animation for it. It's not going to be the final one, like the harmonica one's not final either. I think it's funny that all my animations are saved in a folder called Farmer No Limbs, because the first version of the Farmer did have limbs. Okay, so this is a bass. Uh, let's bring in the song. I'm going to remove uh, Maya, remove audio file. Do you think prestige ranks works? You're stuck at 100? Wait, when you hit prestige, it's not prestiging you? It says the node would be in my outliner. Edit, delete all by type sounds. Cool. 
From the Quickie Mart from The Simpsons. I bought a poster on the cash register. I was imagining you're being on a roadside. That's awesome. I'm glad uh, Shotgun Farmers is such a part of your life that you're starting to confuse it with The Simpsons. I do want to keep over time adding more props to the roadside gas station so it does have more things. Like it has a soda machine, but I want to add like, you know, boxes on the shelf and like a, like a freezer thing, maybe like a ketchup packet thing. Peace. Should end right around here. One oh seven, I want to see. I'm trying to find where it loops. Old boxes of Twinkies, yes. Almost. There we go. So I'm trying to find the loop in the song so the animation is, is shorter and for the most part it looks like it fits. Uh, so we're gonna delete our hand animation here and get rid of the harmonica. Zero out the uh, hand. Uh oh. Oh, the positions. All right. Uh, And then we'll make an upright base. Or washed up base, sorry. Got pure ref going. Looking at these pictures, it's almost always resting on something. I guess that's how the sound escapes, right? Because it comes out from underneath. So you need it to be on top of something so the sound is escaping. It has got a little, like a little log there. Water time. Tossing and shaking a bottle can soda be a neat weapon to toss. Ooh, yeah. That's why I really wish I had um, uh, a motion capture, like access to some kind of motion capture thing. And then I could just mocap some of these and try to put them in and save time with that. I actually want to see a video of someone playing this. I'm guessing you can't really get that into it. This has been one of the most fun parts of making taunts. I've been learning so much about all these instruments. Like I learned how the banjo works. I learned how um, the harmonica works. I actually didn't know anything about those instruments before. To, to a little, I, I, I was telling you about. Definitely 
was down from the surface. He would put things on my washtub like stickers or tape. Put little pictures to the surface. Cover like cover wrapping. Wrapping, wrapping tape to protect things too. And then try to get try the inside and like the duct tape on the inside. Experiment with it. Cool. Make it very difficult. Listen to the physical knowledge of these two tubs. Here's one. Here's one that I touched up with. Controlling the pitch and intonation is a constant challenge. So it's important that you stick with a wiggle here in your notes. Your pitch will waver. You'll be out of tune. You'll be unusable. So, hands placed in front of the face. Let's look at this. First, put your, first, put your elbow against your side and touch your shoulder to your face. Relax. Your arms at rest and neutral. Shoulders on your fist. Your arms at work. You can't hold it steady. It will waver. Your arm will tighten. A mouth harp? What's that? You'll be in good shape. Now let's custom fit your stick. First, take a saw. Cut a groove in the bottom of the stick. I rest my stick securely against my chest and shoulder. A little bit of twisting of my upper body, a little bit of arm movement, very little, very little is all you need. Listen to this. Okay, so on different beats, he moves the arm back and forth. Not much movement. A little bit of arm movement, very little, very little is all you need. Listen to this. Looking at that arm shape. Watch it in slow motion. Report about the prestige prestige problem on the trello. Thanks, life. Were you able to get the prestige later or no? Also, what prestige are you up to? So while we're not progressing to the next prestige. Okay. It's interesting. I wonder why. Like the bind's not even showing up? In that picture, he has his right leg on top of it. Wait. He has his right leg on top of it. Kind of wanted to do this leg because it's already forward when the player is standing in idle. Uh, would there also be a, like a broken instrument sound played, like random notes from the banjo as the player gets killed? Oh! I could ask um, Julian for that, just like the sound of like the string getting ripped. That could be really cool. That could be a cool policy thing. Um, so sound of string getting, I guess Julian wouldn't have that so much as I'd have to find like a, I guess maybe Ben to do that for the audio design. Sound of string getting ripped when killed during a song. I don't know, maybe you could make it digitally, I don't know. 
Yeah, it could be cool if each taunt had like a death sound assigned to it. And if you die during it, it plays like a brrrr sound. That's a good idea. The hard blow and the harmonica, yeah. Why is it rotating so much? I was trying to remember that cylinders should be offset in three dimensions, not just in one dimension. And look like convincing sticks. No, what's weird is, I guess this should kind of moves the stick. He doesn't move the whole thing, or does he? I don't get it. It's kind of bends the stick. The actual uh, can doesn't move. Wait, is the music, where is the music coming from? Inside the bucket? What's up, Sandin? How's it going? The pivot for this stick should be the center of this. So you can turn it like that. What's up, Kage? Bucket, bucket resonates the vibration of the string. Okay, so it does need the opening. Stick is being pulled back at an angle to tighten the string. Ah, I see. Okay, okay. Yes, yeah, so I don't think we'll be able to support actually moving the, the stick. Because then it'll have to be a different, uh, a different object from the actual bucket in terms of the 3D thing. Probably just to kind of make it feel like the stick is moving by like moving the farmer's body left and right, maybe.
Let the hand play in the string move up and down though, not realistic. Oh, I actually move up and down along the string. His string is like pretty frickin' Or his thick. This is an emote? It is, I know, yeah. We're working on emotes. Going from the strumming to the string vibrating into the toe. Oh yeah, we need the string. I think a cube is enough to sell a string. Yeah, because the stream won't vibrate either. I love that everything is on YouTube. Oh, that thing. <laughs> well, if Julian can do a mouth harp cover of the song, then maybe. I totally forgot about the mouth harp. I know that was what it was called. I was that was called a brain ring. I wouldn't be surprised if he has access to one. I'm sure he could do it digitally too, but a lot of the music uh, I believe he did with actual, like all the banjo stuff he did with an actual banjo. I believe. So one of the hands actually holds the string up top. And the other hand plucks the strings. How come my string doesn't feel like it has as much negative space compared to their string? some spatch how's it going you have a mouth harp life seriously pretty sweet increase the space between the string and the stick. Good musician here come with many different instruments. Yeah, these are definitely some really farmy instruments, which is cool.
We're on the wrong layer. Or wrong frame. Interesting. This foot has to go up on this thing. I actually want his body to go forward. I kind of want his root to stay in generally the same place. We'll move the instrument. Ooh, a whiskey jug instrument, I do know those. Now the problem is, while these instruments are all great ideas, each one costs, right? So with every instrument we want to add to the game, we have to pay someone to make the music. We have to spend time actually making the instrument. Which is why we can only have like so many, at least right now. And then maybe add more in the future as things progress. Your farm band in one of the barns that you activate like you do a piano oh imagine like those uh, animatronic ones did those exist in the 60s because i think disney world would have had them that'd be great for like i've always wanted to do a uh, carnival like a country fair map that could be cool we could reuse this for that something like that Looking at the hand shapes of uh, this guy and this guy. What's up, Southern Cross? This is a wash tub base. People will still rage crit when you play with them, but what if they could just play some music? De-stress. I don't actually know if this, I don't know if this hand's supposed to touch the string on top or not. It looks like he's kind of like holding it down. 
The string is coming out from under his hand. Contact in 3D is so funny because things aren't actually touching, they just have to look like they're touching. They don't actually exist, so there's no physical matter. Oh, warning is you try to leave the game telling players they will lose their points if they leave. I believe it does, yeah. When you try to exit a match, it will tell you that you're not going to get any experience points. I think. Maybe I never did that? I actually be on the do list and I keep forgetting about it. It doesn't tell you that? Oh crap. That's a good point then. Um tell players they will lose XP of leaving a match. What does it do right now? It just says, do you want to leave, right? Is it a stretchy rig or not? If it's a stretchy rig, can you show me your note editor for a second, please? I've been trying to figure out how the stretchy rig works for a week now. Uh it is not MV, no, it's not stretchy. It's just gonna be a solid thing. Uh, adding the stretchiness in Unity would require like bones and stuff, which is not worth the performance, in my opinion. Oh, it just... What? It literally just says return to lobby? Jeez. I wonder if people will actually read that, but... So right now it just does this. Do constraint lobby warning. Uh, it's too hard to make it so you can pick up bottles, Geo. Every item you can pick up in the game makes uh, costs a lot more. Like it's it costs more networking traffic and stuff. Right, that's why you can't interact with them. That's why most games you can't interact with everything in them. I think we need a better text for this. Do there any XP such progress made during this match? Thank you, that's better. Thanks, Envy. Ooh, show how much points you're gonna lose. That's interesting. I could get it from the level slider. That is a to-do first. So it should show here and I mean, they just show those basic, basic text. Damn. Thanks for bringing that up. Don't know what gives you your total XP. So get XP for match gives you a list of experience of it. See odd one. Do 
string. I was just when they're playing difficulty. Uh, not yet. No, I did too hard or too easy. Scarecrow on the road is terrifying, isn't it? I, I never actually got to see anyone playing it, and I totally forgot I even did that. And the other day I was watching, uh, I think it was Bunny Day stream on Twitch. She was streaming the game, and the Scarecrow went into the middle of the road, and I, I totally forgot. It was hilarious and amazing. All right, see you, Envy. So we have our total XP now. I can do if total greater than zero. Makes it sound like you're gonna get uh, penalized that amount of experience points. Yeah, difficulty modes would be great. Maybe it should penalize the experience points for leaving a match. What's up, Draco? This is going to be added, uh, Senna. Which one do you mean? The emotes, I'm hoping for the update at the end of this month. So I want to release an update around the end of January, so like 30th, 31st, so next week. Hoping to release the uh, the emotes. We can get them all done in time. Uh, yeah, you don't gain any experience if you rage quits. You don't actually gain any experience until the match is over. So daily challenge progress and experience points uh, don't actually get gained until the, the the match ends. If you rage quit, you won't get any of it. We're just kind of trying to warn players that's what's going to happen.
Oh, it's gonna be too long. Well, after recompiling, let's head back over here. See how our buddy's doing. What I'm going to try to do is um, to look at my animation as a silhouette to see if things are clear. So you can see it kind of looks like his hands on his face. The animation would look a lot better if this hand was out here. So you can actually see the silhouette more clearly. We'll adjust the instrument for that as well. Same with the feet. Not much we can do about this hand that kind of needs to overlap the body to play the to play the string. But we can see that we want to make sure it's clear here so this hand doesn't overlap with the feet on the side view. The nice thing about having full control over everything is I can then adjust. I don't have to like go back to someone to adjust this model. I can just do it. Oh my gosh, I have it in this vertex. It's already like a much better animation. A much better pose, rather. It's not an animation yet. So I designed from the game. Oh man, didn't that used to happen to you in the past? Well, I did know today um, Exit Game sent out a alert saying that they've been getting DDoS attacks all day. So hopefully that's not happening again. Do you play on a uh, Wi-Fi or wired like? Wired hundred hundred. Okay, so it's not that. Grant had a heart attack. He's okay, but he's apparently been in the hospital for a while now. So I knew, oh my gosh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Glad to hear he's okay, though. It wasn't like super bad news, but are you able to go see him or is he far away? He's 
an anime type game. What are your thoughts on putting this on mobile, Geo? Uh, so, my thoughts on putting it on mobile is, where is it? Oh, I think I deleted it. Never mind. Uh, so I did, I did have fun by putting it on mobile once before. Um, in fact, if you go into the Shotgun Farmers UI, there is... A mobile HUD. If activated, actually has a joystick here. So the game actually has mobile support, so you can move with this joystick. You can look with your right hand by moving along the screen. And I think it's tap to shoot or something. I did this for fun once on a weekend uh, earlier, like sometime last year. Um, cause I thought maybe, you know, mobile would be a platform that I could bring the game to. What I struggle on though, is that people don't pay for games on mobile. I gotta turn the light on. So if Shotgun Farmers ever did become a mobile game, it would have to be free to play. It would have to be free to play. And if it was free to play, it would need like monetization strategies and in-app purchases and you know, all the things to make it actually make money because the server costs, like it'd have to be, people would have to be buying stuff in it for the server cost to be worth it. Um, it's so all that would turn into a bunch of extra work. So it's not something I'm going to really worry about until the Steam version is done, but I really don't know if it's going to be worthwhile since mobile is so oversaturated and the companies with like billions of dollars spend their marketing budgets on mobile games. And it's going to be really hard to, I think, like be filtered through that noise. I don't know if anybody will even notice it. I don't know. The only way I'd do a mobile version if it was like a super, super easy port, but just from running it on my phone, I noticed that performance becomes a huge problem. It runs on the lowest quality setting. Um, I would have to support like less players, I think, to actually render them properly. Uh, some of the maps would have to have some of the assets remade so that they render properly on mobile. Some of the particles don't work, some of the shaders don't work. If it's like a month or two of work, it might be worth it, but I really have no gauge on the return of investment it would be and so it would you know it would cost thousands to tens of thousands of dollars just to work on the port uh, in terms of development time and like everyone's time and getting people to remake stuff so yeah so that i haven't really have to talk to other developers who've tried to port first person games to mobile and see if it was worth the uh worth in terms of people actually buying the game like xbox for example i know for sure that people are going to buy this game on xbox or on ps4 or on switch and so those are um uh, easily worthwhile directions to go or platforms to port to, but with mobile, I really don't know. Your conversation with another Facebook group to do weekly game reviews and they have 13,000 members. Dude, that would be awesome. Thank you so much. Really appreciate that. The more people can learn about the game, the more players we can get, hopefully. These hands are not on IK. Oh, they don't have IK? Xbox and PS4. Yeah, I really hope to try to make some progress on consoles later this year. I really just don't know what it takes to bring a networking game to Xbox or PS4. Um, they're very particular about their networking services and stuff. Something I hope to learn more about at the Game Developers Conference this year and talk to some other developers who've done it. I know it's going to be kind of a pain. I think the regular parts of the game are going to be easy, but the networking part is going to be really, really hard. If this is a single player game, bring it to consoles would be like, yeah, of course. Wouldn't even get a question. Okay, 
so if this is our main pose oh he's crying he's crying aka he's trying to play the harmonica on his face Does animation actually loops? The one of four? One of three. All we actually have to do is just make him strum at once to the beat. But right now I'm not gonna actually do any strumming, I'm just gonna make his hand move. That's the follow you in game. Oh, that would be awesome. There'd be so much animation though. Like Fortnite Cheetah, they made it so that your pet's always in your backpack. One extra frame at the end. There we go. I know I never had IK support for these hands, but I guess it makes sense. And I can't really move the spine because it's attached, it needs to be IK it's attached to this stick. Unless I do, I guess I could just make this a separate object. Right. I'll have to change it so that it's a list of instruments that you unlock. This is, uh, Bathtub, bass. I hate that bass is spelled bass because I always want to say bass. Would be parented to the body. No, what it it could be parented to the left hand. Oh, the pivot would have to be at the hand. Mm. But that would have to be 
like a constraint. You don't have to actually animate separately. Never mind. Too much for one instrument. I keep it in the scope. We put a wand on the jail on the west side of the show, just a cartoon pick my post to the top leaders of the game. That could be really cool. Like uh pull in names from the leaderboard or something. Oh, I could tap his feet too. Oh no, because that would make sounds on the drum. You wouldn't want to do that. Maybe your mission is to stay on top all the time. I love it. Yeah, for definitely would be better, but he couldn't actually tap the... Tap this foot, but he's off balance on that foot? I guess it would work. Okay. Kind of weird because his balance is actually on his back foot. So you, it's hard to tap the foot that you're weighted on. When you're standing normally, you'll tap the foot that you're not waiting on. So when I'm weighted on my right leg, I'll tap my left leg. But if your weight's on it, then it's actually really... So if you stand up and like put all your weight on your right leg, it's really hard to tap it without it basically hurting and seeming impossible. Maybe let's watch some more videos of bathtub bass playing. Or wash tub. I call it bathtub in the game. So she has more flair in her flicks, which helps. It's up and down in the hips. It's hard for me to do because the hands aren't tied. I could try to constrain the hands actually. Yeah, I really need to move like move this whole body, but I need to constrain the hands. Not sure how to do. Do I have knees? I don't have knees now, but basically like to make, make someone's knees move, they're just moving their root up and down. Like that would help.
It was good, thanks, Lad. Yeah, I haven't done any finger animation yet, I don't really want to yet. So, it throws into the game and just see how it looks. Everyone else playing. Animate chickens next to each other, taunt characters that dances with music! That'd be amazing, but really hard. This would just go into the master control. I don't know how we actually, I guess we just go into the right hand. That's the only way to actually know. I don't know, actually. Let's see. Make a new folder. replacing all the folder paths for all these files so that next time I change one of the animations it'll be in the right folder. What's up code? How's it going? you frozen unity don't be able to be interrupted by moving characters so we don't get shot while doing emo uh quite the opposite at least right now the way i think most games do it is that you can't interrupt your taunt and that's why it's a risk or reward you can't just like spam them because if you do your taunt then now you're at risk of getting shot so in game mode when choosing a team it should be more clear which team is snowmen and which are hunters it doesn't say snowmen and hunters or or is it hiders and seekers Does say snowman and farmers? I'm not sure where it comes from. Oh yeah, so it should, it should say Team Snowman and Team Farmer. But maybe, maybe that could be even more clear. It was in the master control. Yeah, maybe having some icons there would be really helpful. So like an icon of a snowman be good especially for localization
Why is hard to read? Yeah, I've got that. I heard that complaint a lot too about the winter maps. Should have thought of that before I made everything all white. I'm guessing master control is the root. Why is it like that? It works. I found a sneaky way to always run behind the freeze. Found I'm scared of the map and just sits there and when he starts to melt, he barely has to move to stop melting. Yeah, I heard that there's a way to cheat the melting. What's up, Thinkbot? Doing good, how are you? Yeah, I think you're definitely right, Gio. What? That's not the right animation. Oh, I didn't add it to the animator. Zone the DJ out ready to head to the house. Nice. I do think this whole thing has to be moved backwards, but I don't know. So we have the new taunt layer in our animator. Can't believe we ended up doing the base. It's funny, originally the base was not even gonna make it. I was just gonna do the banjo and harmonica because I feel like those are must-haves. I was gonna do the cowbell because it's really easy. It's just like tick, 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 tick. But this washed up bass thing ends, it ends up being a lot cooler, I think. A minute or so of the time the NPC snowman just appeared. Yeah, wait, I think I saw your, uh, I think I saw your son's messages on, I wanna see either Discord or Twitter, probably on Discord. I think that's a great idea that it's kind of like Battle Royale with the walls squeezing in where over time the snowman starts disappearing until it gets harder and harder to hide. Damn it. So cool that I'm doing it though. Here is right. Why are you broken? Oh, it's not looping. Dude, this is awesome. This is so awesome. I love it. What's up, Dennis? He loves the game. He lives with his mom, so it gives us time to bond and play the game. That's awesome, Gio. I'm glad to hear that. That's super cool. I'm glad you guys got to spend some quality time in the farmer murdering world. Lost my wash tub. Now it's now. I got to mark this animation. As a loop in animation. Check us out, Dennis. Check this out. For anyone who missed earlier in the stream, we are working on emotes and taunts. 
Next level wizard. Leave that taunt off. Debug log. I haven't actually looked at how this works in the network. It has networking code in it, so it should be fine. But I haven't tested it yet. So I can taunt with my banjo. Taunt with my harmonica. Uh, there is a pickaxe. Yeah, the pickaxe is one of the shovel skins. You can unlock it. Forget how. Level 25 or something? And we just added the upright base, or the, sorry, the wash tub base. Animation's all still very rough. What's an uphill? You think that's cool, but the best part is doing it with your friends. So if anyone starts their taunt, so let's say the bots start their taunt, I can join in. And my song continues from where their song was! Shotgun Farmer is their music band, yes! Twelve out of ten. Yeah, the whole music syncing up thing was all Julian's idea. So I reached out to him and asked, I told him I wanted to do musical taunts. I, I originally, I just wanted to do one banjo taunt. That's all I wanted. I said, can you please um, make some banjo version of the song, either like from or like a public domain song, maybe one of the songs already in the game. He came back to me with five tracks, one for each instrument from the main menu song, and had this crazy idea of being able to play together in a live band. And I said, you crazy, you crazy. Here we are now. It's so cool. Get him a pancake. Think Bot Labs, thank you for that sub. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub, Think Bot. We've been working on these days. How many ammo did that grenade launcher have? That was weird. Oh man, the ammo cylinder is messed up again. Why? That gun is always broken. The tomatoes should rotate like one, two. It shows I only have two left, but I should have four left. It doesn't make any sense. F6 this. Grenado ammo cylinder showing wrong rotation. Okay. Look at this guy. He's got camo on his instrument. Why do they all have camo on their instruments? Oh, because I made them camo. So the instruments should uh, ignore your camo. Damn it. We can see more of some smaller secondary weapons. Like what, Joe? Damn, damn, damn. I don't know why their materials don't get reset.
it does this. Then it only recreates your hat and your body and stuff. It doesn't actually change that. I do have something called a material swapper. What does this do? Let's see. Uh, it has a renderer. It stores the material on a wake. And then you can set the material and then reset the material. Hmm. there's no point actually applying camo to our our taunt weapons because you can't taunt when you're in camo i don't know what will actually happen it should reset your taunt or something uh let's make sure we do that so taunting during camo should clear your camo i think a water pistol that squirts water with lemon juice. It's a lemon squirt gun. That's pretty great. You could burn them like acid, yeah. Water physics would be the hard, or like liquid, liquid stuff would be really hard. Um, they... Do have the instrument component. My instruments could just be anything that you use in a taunt. Okay. If trans dot get component instrument continue. So it should skip instruments. All right. I am going to run to the bathroom while that's compiling. I will be.
All right. What's up, Fred Bear? How's it going? Who wants to play a few rounds? Yeah, I'll play a few rounds. What uh, what region are you playing on, Life? A video if you want to watch, Fred Bear. What's the video of? Slay the Spire. What's that? U.S. East, cool. A man, Fred Bear? No thanks. Getting in a fight with a Thomas person? Not sure what that means. But uh, we don't really watch random videos here. Unless it's relevant to the conversation. Thanks, though. Can't forget we gotta work on those trading cards. I'm thinking for the trading cards, we'll take a photo of the three animals. So a picture of the chicken, a picture of the cow, and a picture of the pig. Should have the templates downloaded, I believe. Oh look, apparently I tried to work on trading cards before. Remember this cow? <laughs> yeah, look, I tried to make a Bok Bok trading card a long time ago. Ooh, a gnome trading card, that's a cool one. Make some notes. So we can do chicken, pig, cow, and the gnome could be like a rare one. Ain't done yet. These are the templates. For trading cards. This is a Skyhook one. Oh yeah, it's all the winter thing. Oh, I don't want to be Santa Claus anymore. Moonshine, the Molotov pineapple grenades. Yeah, we could do one for every single weapon too. What? I didn't even load yet. All right, guys, let's go. You and me. Assassinated, damn, but I can feel him watching me. Oh yeah, in the new version you can actually move the camera. I got you at least. You wanna join Gio? Yeah, we're in US East in the room. Uh, T L I Y. Oh, the life is yours. Wearing your hat too. Those cute piggies. They're adorables.
Do you change servers? Uh, go to Browse Lobby, and then in the bottom, there's a drop down. I'm actually meaning to add the um, add region drop down to the shortcuts button menu. Oops. Trade it again. Something that really needs to get remade is the um, spawn house. An asset that never got finished. Why are the numbers after my name? Uh, it's for a, it's like a debugging thing. Basically, a lot of times I play with different clients, like with multiple versions of the game running. And so if my name is the same in every version, uh, there'll be errors. So I just randomly add different numbers into my name when I'm playing. He's got the shield. Come on, team. Pick up the pace. Oh, he's, he was right there waiting for me. I saw him, too. There's nothing I could do. I already made my choice. Oh, what? Did I get it right behind you? I love that the chicken runs away. Can't believe that wasn't in the first version. Oh, Gio, you have the popsicle shovel? Nice. Get away from me! Damn it. Keep spawning on the not M16 side. That's where I want this. Let's go, Arturo! I got your back. That snipe coming from damn life So, uh, Geo and Life, do you guys feel like you ever wish the game actually had background music while you were playing? Because it assured it's like 
casual enough that it doesn't matter if I have background music. You know, like, you could let me hold it for at least a second. <laughs> Just so I could remember what it felt like to cradle a chicken. Turn the music off. Killed by a bot. My own bot! Well, I think we lose. Oh, we got the chicken. Never mind. Everyone loves game music. I turn the music off as sentence that physically hurt me to read. Did you some ambient sounds like winds or crickets? Yeah, there's like birds and stuff, but I guess maybe they're not like um enough, maybe. GG guys. Yeah, more admin stuff. Ooh, I got the broom. More admin is definitely a good idea. I think what I've seen some games do is they'll add um, elements. Like, I, like Call of Duty will always have like sparking wires somewhere that creates noises. And we could try to do that. Maybe like the tractor could be making like a rumbling noise. Um, the lights could be creaking in the barn. I'm using the game is great. Thanks, Light. And someone mentioned before, like, the air conditioners could make noise in roadside. Oh, great. We're starting off with life as the juggernaut? You gotta be kidding me. The bots are just gonna feed them. Ooh, free gnome. I've never actually seen the power-up timer myself. <laughs> I've never actually used it before. Crap, now I can't see. Get broomed! The life is yours! You can you let me wear the hat for three seconds? Three seconds? Get him, bots! Get him! I'm out of here. How did I die? What did you kill me with? Do you have a gun? Yeah, that was, uh, I got too close. Chill, I'm not the juggernaut. It's really hard to kill one of these guys. Hooray! Oh, 
Stay away from me. How can I kill any of these guys there? I see you, life. I see you. Damn it. Oh, yeah. Maybe he killed the person before they became the juggernaut on his client? Could be. Like killing, killing Voltron while he transforms. Geo. Yeah, it could have been lag that he hadn't fully transformed yet or something. Oh, this bot is stuck. Yeah, it definitely does. The sniper did uh, armor piercing damage. Apparently, does not. Or you could just miss every shot. That works too. You had just spawned and it was your first shot. Interesting. Ooh, that was sweet. I hate you, Geo. I hate you! That would have been an awesome trailer shot, life. I just want to kill life, that's all I want. Think about play a banjo, play the mandolin, maybe. Deathmatch. Anybody on my team? The voting covers the scoreboard. Yeah.
Oh, your orb doesn't go into camo. Wait, where are you? I need to have six of you. You got a shield and a Molotov. Wait. Broom makes metal shovel noise. Let's make the wooden shovel noise. Life is yours, hat orb doesn't do camo. See Dennis. Bacon. I thought I was an enemy. You could see the person's grenade on their hips. So cool. I did fix that bug, his body's in camo. This Grimlock bot, it really has it out for me. Can you guys imagine if you can just get in this vehicle, in this tractor, and drive it around the level and run people over? Would that be terrible or would it be amazing? Grimlock is out for blood, seriously. Damn, right past you. Huh. Take that, Grimlock. Take it. Ah, uh, camel person. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Haha, <laughs> Rocket Wars. Oh, we're winning. I really like the M6 Bean, mainly because you can spray and pray. Health pack. The guns echo? Nope. Wait. Maybe? Nope. I don't know. I thought, I remember working on making them echo outside once, but I don't think I ever finished it.
Can't see me, I'm invisible. Nice. That snowman is well hidden. Oh snap, we're winning! I've never won a match in my life! Damn it! I can't imagine this game without weapon drops, without grenades, all the things I never thought I would put in the game. <laughs> GG's. Don't mind if I do. All right, thank you guys for playing with me. Let's get back to doing some work. Uh, oh yeah, these things. Making the cards. So we'll use spectator mode to take some screenshots of the animals. I think with Bok Bok, we already have it. We'll use the key art of Bok Bok over like running. So we'll take pictures of the cow in countryside and then the pig in riverside. And then I think we'll actually no, it doesn't matter where we take pictures of them because I'm thinking about not using including the background and actually just like cropping it out and then putting it on like a gradient background. Um they don't have any examples of Steam trading cards for games they like. Yeah, if you look at the Borderlands ones, they all have like the background kind of cropped out. Do you want to just use the concept art? We don't have that. City Skylines use a blueprint. That's super awesome. This is the Pokemon card game, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think like some sort of a backdrop with a texture on it. Oh, we could do one of the purple cap too. Baby cap. Alt cow. I'm gonna change my radius. Uh. Happened. Go. Nice and low. Not really well lit. 
This one's better lit. Stop eating. Oh, the better photographer. This is like Pokemon Snap, but the farm version. Took a bunch of pictures there. Review them. See if we have any good ones. Already has thing called pig cutout. That. Ooh, oh, it's someone riding the pig though. Kind of ruins it. That's for the Halloween banner, I believe. Or when captured the pig first launch. So out of these photos, I think I like. This one, this one, I don't really love either of them. I'll switch over to capture the pig. I am so extraordinarily happy that there is actually taunting emotes in the game now. Possibilities are endless after this. I'm trying to think of what definitely I want to launch emotes with. Looking at some of the ideas we came up with. Um, high five, I think, because that's a really easy one, just like a animation. Um, digging with the shovel. I think this one Rack with real life people. I mean, am I not real? Am I not real to you?
You are lucky killing me. You want to be at the top of the wine posters? Yeah, that would be really cool to do. <clears throat> I couldn't actually have the person's avatar. That would be way too hard. But I could at least have their name with like a fake avatar. I never included this as a key art in the game. I don't know the point of the trading card large. The small is what actually gets turned into the trading card. I think the large is just for like the... Oh, you're a black could be a problem, yeah. Look, like, is there a way for me to see my sky up trading cards? Because it just shows me games of trading cards. But a zoom in version of a smaller card image. Okay. I guess I'll just make them bigger and then shrink them down. Small one square. This is an easy way to see what trading cards a game has. So let's work on cropping these. Gio, thank you for the sub. Please drop those fresh new emails you just unlocked. Thank you so very much for your support, dude. Not only supporting the stream, but also supporting the game. Helping spread the word, I really appreciate it.
to round out some of this geometry. A little blown out in terms of lighting. What's up, Brick? It's going good. How are you? Bring some color back to the really bright areas. I don't know if there's room for rim lighting. Let's see, there's already some rim lights here on the cheeks. Cool. That is our piggy. And last but not least, oh, I didn't hear a picture of the gnome either. We're good brick. We're making. We're working on uh, Steam trading cards for our Shaco farmers. Uh, you can put as many cards as you want, but I believe Steam requires four to start. That's a really good question. I should double check that. There's a, there's a minimum number you have to have. Oh my god, I forgot you have to make badges too. Oh, making a... Uh... Where are our rank names? Farmhand, Country Bumpkin, Planter, Rancher, and Master Farmer. You bet covers your very important profile badge? What do you mean? Oh, your season three thing? I never thought about that. You have to make five badge icons first, then a foil badge icon, then a card border. Holy crap.
Then five emoticons. Some amount of profile, five profile backgrounds. Like trading cards and five to 15 trading cards. Okay. We have sorry, you have to five, five trading cards, five emoticons, five badges, and three profile backgrounds. We can do uh, cow, purple cow, which I wish I had taken a picture of the purple cow. Cow, purple cow, pig, chicken, and gnome for the first set. For the first. Your next week is sorted. Yeah, I mean, in theory, it should just take about a day. So what's good about having to do this is I've been meaning to make the new badges for the ranks as well. So, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, Laser Sofa designed the new badges. I don't know where they are. For uh, the ranks, for prestiging. And I can use those. After, he did the concept for them. I've actually turned them into like in-game icons. So these are the, uh, the concepts he did for the prestige badges. So Farmhand, which is Prestige 1, Country Bumpkin, Planter, Rancher, and Master Farmer. I think they look awesome and they're way more farmy than what we currently have in game, which are just placeholder asset store icons. Um, so once I make a vector version of this, or a rats version of this, I can then just use those and colorize them for the foil badges for, for Steam. But this is a good reason for me to have to make these, I suppose. Add this to the to do list uh, trading cards, rank badges, emoticons, profile background, and trading cards five. Oh yeah, we could do a snowman trading cards and like seasonal packs as well. I mean, the cow is one of the older models in the game and two years later it's so hard to look at it and not want to like remake it you just gotta remember that that's not going to really affect sales or gameplay in any real way you already remade the head once and it, was, it at least looks better than the original cow But this angle kind of looks like it has a little wiener sticking out of it. I might paint in the udders down there. Oh, I forgot the ears. Like, it looks really weird. I think I'm going to paint in alternate. Oh, crap. I'm going to paint in the second ear as well.
Change on the tail. Hey, these things are just programming modeling at a university. You study on your own. I'm wondering, what's up, TD Mark? Uh, all on my own. Um, so I did go to school for computer science. They mostly taught us uh, Java and like web programming stuff. And then after I graduated, I decided I wanted to be, I didn't really know what I wanted to do when I was in college besides draw comic books. I was always drawing and stuff. And after I graduated, I didn't really know what I wanted, like what to do with my degree. So I worked at a software company while learning 3d art online so i just took as many like i watched as many videos as i could on 3d modeling and stuff and I kind of have this, i had this vague idea that since i learned how to code in college um, i could maybe turn that into ability to code games and so i just started stu uh, studying 3d art i figured i could learn how to make the art for my own games and then uh, i tried teaming up with some people to make games but it just really didn't work out for me uh, I really didn't like enjoy being on those teams. So I ended up not working with those people and then um, decided I would just start learning how to code myself. And so I started watching Unity tutorials online and learning C-sharp and then eventually combining that with my ability to draw to make games. But I had to learn every single thing along the way. Pixel art I had to learn, uh, 3D art I had to learn, Video editing, trailer production, I'm still every day learning how to do marketing. Did you come up with the concept of shotgun farmers? So in what year is it? 2018. So in 2016, uh, a friend of mine named uh, Daniel S and D, uh, who runs a company called Bintoast Games. You can check out their games. Uh, so he was. We became friends when we were both working on our first uh, commercial game, and we were both making uh, like party games. I made Skyhook, which was my first game, and he made a game called Rocket Fist, and they were both kind of party, primarily local multiplayer games. And we both always talk about how hard a multiplayer game would be to make and uh, how much we wish our game could have been multiplayer. Um, and so he ended up adding multiplayer to Rocket Fist. And then so after Rocket Fist, he decided his next game was a game called What the Box. It's, it's also a game on Steam. And What the Box was a, first per or a third person shooter where you're playing as cardboard boxes hiding in a cardboard box factory. Uh, it's kind of like Gary's Mod, or it's kind of like Prop Hunt, but as cardboard boxes. And he made this game, and we were friends, so we were talking, and I was kind of jealous that he had figured out how to make a multiplayer game, and he showed me that it wasn't impossible, that one person really could make a multiplayer game. And so, kind of inspired by that, I decided that I wanted to try to make a multiplayer game too. And so I started brainstorming ideas, uh, on what my multiplayer game would be about because I knew it had to be something different. Like the reason What the Box um, resonated with me so much because it was so unique and it had such a unique hook. Like no game like that had been done before where you just played as cardboard boxes. So I was trying to figure out <clears throat> what my unique premise was going to be. And uh, I, went, I don't know, I just went through a lot of ideas. I remember at one point I was just going to do Shock, uh, I'm sorry, I was going to do Skyhook in 3D where you play, where you grappling hook pirates and there are all kinds of ideas. I can't even remember all of them at this point. Uh, but eventually I landed on the idea of farmers. I don't know what inspired me or what I saw that they wanted to do farmers. And I thought it'd be really funny. And I realized there had never been a game before where you played as just farmers that were like, where the farmers were the hero. They weren't just like NPCs or they weren't like peaceful kind of Stardew Valley, Harvest Moon like games where you're actually like violent farmers. And so I had that idea. And I was like, well, what's the main weapon for the farmer going to be? It's got to be a shotgun because farmers and shotguns are synonymous. Synonymous. And so that's when I came up with the name Shotgun Farmers. And so originally the game was just uh, it was a multiplayer shooter where one team was farmers and the other team was rabbits. 
and the rabbits are trying to steal carrots from the farmers. It was a team-based game. And the farmers are trying to kill the rabbits and keep them from stealing their, their carrots. And so I'd kind of been designing out this idea for a while. And then I mentioned it to, to my friend Dan. And I was like, yeah, this like idea for a game. It's called Shotgun Farmers, where um, you're a multiplayer game rabbit stealing from, from farmers. And he jokingly laughed and he said, oh, when you said the word, when you said shotgun farmers, I thought you were going to say that it's about farmers who grow shotguns. And in that moment, like a lightning bolt struck in the conversation. And I was just like, be right back. And then, yeah, then I spent the next, like, I don't know how many days just trying to figure out, like, how do you make a first player, first person shooter where um, you're growing your own weapons. And that's kind of where shotgun farmers came from. Okay. So now let's do some color scheming. Let's name our layers here. Chicken. Pig. Cow. This is so much easier before because I just had the awesome concept paintings that Catherine did for Skyhook. Clip it. That was a great speech. Oh, thanks. It was all a lie. I found shotgun farmers. I found the source code uh, in a dark alleyway. The spider bow. I assume I missed a lot of the stream. Yeah. You did, but I'll be streaming again next Monday. So make sure you hit that follow button if you're not following already. We're currently working on some Steam trading cards. So I really like this extension. It's called Adobe Color Themes. Helps you find uh, some color themes to use for you, obviously. So if I color pick this red here and pull it in, I'm already on a uh, triad, so I'm going to pick... Maybe this blue. Oops, wrong button. That's why the um You may, the uh, Discord avatar and everything avatar is blue. 50 kills. Jeez Louise. Now I'm going to put some kind of a texture on it. I'm going to paper or wood maybe. Uh, by the way, for anyone watching the stream, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe over on my YouTube channel. I've been posting both old streams, stream highlights, and working on vlogs to post there as well. Pretty great, hey? Uh, looks kind of dumb. We're kind of great. We're kind of dumb.
No. No. What's up, Sparky? How's it going? Ooh, a level with crop circles would be really cool. background that works and get the tractor out the shot I think you're not supposed to have any branding or anything on this. A little bit of a gradient to the chicken there, too. Check out with the box, nice. All right, yeah, happy with this. Then we'll do the color for the pig. So this will be chicken BG. Big BG. Let's go to the barn. Thanks, Sparky. Like the giant, it's like they're giant animals just floating over the barn. And the cow. That one, I don't really know what the color scheme would be. Be red. There's no Grameda launcher on Riverside? I wanna say no. There is, it would... Oh my gosh, I just remembered we have taunts in the game and I'm so happy again. Uh, no Grameda on Riverside. 2 M16s, MK2, rocket launcher, two rocket launchers, two snipers, and two flames. What's up, Kino? I am a quasi. How did you know? Like, 
guess we need to save these. This is pay or cow card large. You haven't checked the channels in years, like before shotgun farmers. Oh man, it's good to see you again. How have you been? If you haven't seen it before shotgun farmers, and it's gotta have been over a year. Or over two years. I just realized I did all of this wearing my red glasses, which means I never actually saw the real colors. But when I stopped streaming, uh, I've never stopped streaming. There was like a week or two that I didn't stream when I went to Europe, but then I started streaming again from Europe. And then there was about two weeks I didn't stream when I went to South Asia as well. And then I have to turn these into smaller ones. Why is I doing pixel art RBS? Because uh, I'm mainly focusing on a 3D game. I was doing pixel art when I was making a pixel art game. But now that I'm doing this 3D game, I'm, I don't really have time to work on pixel art for fun. Wonder where we want the barn. Probably like centered so you can see the silo. Well, it's not enough, but we at least did three cards. It's more cards than we had before. Well, I did want to do... I thought I was going to do this kind of gradient, now that I think about it.
for the small card. How are we getting Steam trading cards currently? Play stream Jockey Farmers. Uh, do you see a boost in downloads when mainline stream, uh, streamers play the game? Yeah, for sure. Uh, Markiplier played it about two years ago. He played it when the game first came out. I haven't been able to um, contact him and try to get him to play it again. Hoping that I can get him, play, get him to play it again when it comes out. But yeah, there's, there's definitely a correlation when bigger YouTubers uh, play the game in terms of downloads. All right, three cards down, two more to go. Some people will stream it and they let people join in. Yeah, it's awesome. Because I like when I get to catch those streams because then I can jump in and play with them too, even though they don't know the creator is playing with them. All right, so gnome and purple cow. We're gonna try to get a picture of the purple cow in a similar angle to the regular cow. Hexadecimal, thank you for the follow. Make myself smaller. Trying to match it up to the other drawing, the other screenshot. And let's see where the gnome is. You're at this game when you're not good at other PvP games. That's good, I think. You think the YouTubers free stream keys for your game, which they might post the game on YouTube, which help with the downloads? RBS? Yeah, that's what I do. So I did that when the game first came out, and I'm going to try to do it again when the game comes out of early access. You don't really play FPS games live? Wow. That's surprising. You're so damn good at this one. Look at this mischievous little gnome. Just 
turn down the light a little bit. For the gnome, as you hit it, it should wobble a bit like side to side. Ooh, that's a good idea. Here's the no. The mailbox. As long as I put this punch rotation prop on an object with a rigid body. Good work. So that MS Gamer, you know, he plays on Europe server on a Saturday in the streams. Oh yeah, I should. MS Gamer hangs out on this stream too. I should play with him sometime next time he streams. I notice because on weekends usually I'm not at the computer when I see his stream goes live on Twitter, but maybe the next time I'm near my desk I can try to jump on. Man, it's cold in here like there's a window open, but all my windows are closed. That worries me. works there we go ready to life now you can smack the no oh, now you can smack the now you can smack the why can't i smack it with a shovel smack the mailbox Oh, I think it's the collider in front of it. I think it's the grab collider. Not a trigger. Interesting. Let's collide. The shovel is detecting this collider. That's an item. Not the gnome, which is an act thing. Cause I turn this off and it works. Yeah, it's a big gnome. The RF Mojo game has come a long way, it really has. Why is the shovel blocked by the item?
Okay, so that's 0.15 radius here. And we'll copy this, and it's inflated. Yeah, the OG cows were hideous. Okay, so that should make it so that gnomes are whackable and shake when they whack. It's a nice bit of polish. I don't know about noble types in C sharp. They're pretty great. Can get annoying sometimes, but they are pretty useful. Yeah, I learned about them fairly recently too. Like add a question mark to the end of something. Is that what you mean? I think I'll work on the other two cards later because I am getting a little hungry. First, let's go play a tune with our band. Once this thing loads. At some point today. Yeah, it's definitely very handy, especially when you're passing them in for another class. All right, here we go. You ready, fellers? You ready? One, two, three, hit it. Oh, that reminds me what I was gonna do. Look at all those bass players. I was gonna increase the min radius for um, the taunt audio. Amazing! Thanks, life! Makes me really happy. Like little things like this that just make the game more fun. Looking epic, thanks, Lop. Yeah, it's cool that we have three instruments now. I think so. There's there is two other parts of the ensemble. I don't know if I'm gonna do them or not. There's the cowbell, and then we'll look up what the other, the other instrument is, see if that's cool. The cowbell one's super easy, it's just an animation doing this. That might happen. Is adding weather elements hard to do in the game? Uh, it's both hard and easy. It's easy in that I could try to find some sort of asset that does it. It's hard in that it, one, dynamically changes the level, so seeing that across a network properly, and then two, messes with the randomness of a level. So every time you play a map, like the weather's different. I have to make sure it's the same for every single player. Uh, I didn't want to have like a map that just has a weather effect. So like a rain, I was going to make a, what was it, the map going to be? There was this nighttime map that was going to be raining. I think it was the one with the maze, like a hay maze. Supposed to be raining. I can't remember. And then there's always, I always want to do north side, which is going to be the permanent snowing map. Doing instrument sparky? Yeah, so we're working on um, we were working on emotes today. So I can do this now. And the cool thing about the emotes, stop guys, is you can get other people to join in. Yep, just like a barn dance, yeah. Oh, and then, oh, oh, when I add square dancing, people can actually square dance, like th three players can play the song while other players are square dancing. Okay, they're off sync. Oh no, it's not hiding the other instruments. Look, he's got a harmonica and a banjo and a thingy. 
You're good at my lighting setup? Uh, Clement, do you mean in real life or in my game? I don't know if it's because I just pressed it too many times. Wait, look. They're going to run around with all their instruments out now. He's got a banjo. He's running around with a wash tub and a banjo. Yeah, they look like a one-man band. You're right. Playing the spoons. Wait, so if I die, is that what happened? Okay, so when you die, it doesn't turn off your taunt. Then you spawn with an invisible weapon. Because of course you do. You get one of these. Oh, is that a guitar with the harmonica attached? That would be awesome. <clears throat> uh, so for my lighting setup in the game, there's just, uh, I use one world light, which lights the whole scene. Um, so one world light, which has like the light of the sun, and it's like basically in the direction the sun is casting from. Uh, and that casts off shadows. These are the shadow settings. And then I use um, the global illumination lighting in the lighting tab. The cast, I usually cast either a blue light, like it's coming from the sky, or just another light if it's the kind of light I want in that level. So like in Riverside, I cast like a yellowish light. In Westside, I cast like an orange light, so it feels more like Western. The Bob Dylan look. Uh, and then we need to make sure that you can taunt in the victory screen, because that's kind of one of the big per points of taunting or emoting. Where is Taunt? So, if player dot is winner, player controller, player controller dot victory winner. For showing in the victory screen. I think that's the right parameters. And maybe doing the main menu, yeah. I mean, it'll have to be a, man, a menu. Oh my gosh. It'll have to be a tone selection menu too, won't there? Crap. Okay. Not too hard. A few hours of work, probably. Of course, something you unlock, you need to be able to select. Taunt selection menu in main menu. There'll be a tab in the character creator where you'll be able to like try out the different taunts. So yeah. Oh uh, yeah, so uh, sorry, once my Unity stops compiling. So here in my lighting setup, I have an ambient color that I use. Um, I don't set it to skybox, but my skyboxes are like mostly blue, and sometimes I want it to be a different ambient color than just the skybox, or a different shade of blue than the skybox. So yeah, I set it to color, and then I pick an ambient color. This is just my test scene, so it's set to this weird beige, but normally it's like a nice blue, or a weird purple, or a weird orange, or something like that. Pull down a key and move the mouse around to pick the taunt. Yeah, so I have to work on a circle menu. That's probably what I'm going to be doing either tomorrow or on the next stream. It depends on what I end up getting at. Uh, I don't know how to make a circular menu yet. So it's gonna be fun. I have to put some thought into it. Yeah, I think some taunts will be unlocked with menus and then we'll have to figure out how we unlock the future taunts. Okay, let's see if we can fix dying while taunting.
Also, another thing I should do is when you start taunting, you lose your camo. Oh, no intelligence, that's cool. I got an orifice exception. And stop taunt. Oops. Let's try that a different way. Do you have a post-process color correction too? Yes, I use uh, Amplify Color for color correction. It makes a big difference. I use a couple of post-processing things. I use Amplify Color. I use Unity's built-in, like the post-processing stack. Uh, I use that for anti-aliasing and ambient occlusion, and uh, I think that's it. Oh, and vignetting. And then I use um, another asset, it's called Beautify, which basically just helps kind of pop, like push your saturation and your contrast stuff a little bit. I think it's a really cool asset. The death sounds gonna be tragic and hilarious. Yeah. Let's see if this works. All right, now I'm spawning correctly, and then let's win. And. Oh! The camera goes behind you. Like a new kid, all of them, yeah. Yeah, I can kill all the players with one keyboard strike. So when you start your taunt. Very much like that key yourself. I learned that cheat code, don't worry. That The code that allows you to do that doesn't even get compiled into the game. So in Unity, you can use post-processor regions. What is it called? Processor tags. Where basically you can write a line of code that doesn't even get made, like doesn't, that only compiles when you're in the editor. It doesn't get compiled when you're in the, when you're in the build. It doesn't even exist. Slash God mode, yeah. I gotta remove the slash taunt from the chat view. I had a shortcut to allow me to do different taunts in the chat view. There we go. Now I can taunt. It should uh, probably stop when the scoreboard shows up. But it's not, the music's not always timing up, which is interesting. The sound offset doesn't seem to always be working. Getting an error? We did it. We got mother effing emotes in the game. I'm done. This is it. Just put it on Steam. Wait, it is on Steam. Just put it on Xbox. Oh, I gotta texture the instruments. They don't have to look that good, right? They just have to look fine, because they're just for emotes. They're not like... Emotes. And Switch! Yeah, Nintendo, I've been trying to get Shotgun Farmers on Switch, and Nintendo has been 
playing hard to get with me. So that's been uh, that's been really stressful. Welcome to the end game. It really is the end game. I think Switch is like the perfect console for shotgun farmers, but uh, Nintendo has been difficult in regards to it. So if you want to see shotgun farmers on Switch, tweet at Nintendo America and let them know, and maybe it'll help. I'll get them on our side. Shotgun farmers is best game. Oh, thank you. Try this out again. I love that they the bots keep spinning even while they're playing their music. Ah, we got emotes. We got emotes. You know what that means. It's time for me to get going. Thank you guys so very much for hanging out today. Crazy productive stream. Great, great, great idea having the wash tub bass be one of the instruments. I can't believe it. Would not exist in the game if it wasn't for the stream. So thank you for that suggestion. Thank you for all the feedback and the ideas. It's been freaking awesome. Uh, offer you from Japan. Hello from America. Wow, that's awesome. See you, Sparky. See you, Clem. See you, Geo. Ah, oh, see you, Life. See you, Spider. See you, Offro. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the show so far, make sure you hit that follow button down there. And if you really, really, really like the show, you should subscribe because for every person who subscribes to this channel, I will add one, 0 0.1 more instruments to the game. Uh, for now and also make sure you check out the YouTube channel as well where I'm uploading stream highlights vlogs and Someday tutorials someday someday. I'm gonna clip that speech. Yes, for sure for sure uh, For now though, let's go show some love to somebody out in the stream world So I'm gonna host up another unsuspecting streamer let's See who's doing So you know what let's go show some love to bunny day Bunny day is an awesome streamer who's been playing shotgun farmers on our stream but thank you for that message, Life. Let's go send some support to Bunny Day. Until then, I will see you guys next week for our next stream. Should be a ton of more content by then. Oceanside should be almost done by then, in theory. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.